man convicted in this crazy car chase across the metro area will spend the rest of his life behind bars. You saw it live here on Denver 7 in March of 2014. Ryan Stone stole a car in Longmont with a four-year-old in the back seat. He ditched it and went on to carjack two more cars. He nearly killed a state trooper in the process. That high-speed chase spanned five counties across the metro, and Denver 7's Lance Hernandez was in the courtroom for Ryan Stone's sentencing, and Lance Stone initially blamed law enforcement for putting people's lives at risk. And Eric, he, in a recorded jailhouse phone call, he said if officers hadn't chased him, lives wouldn't have been at risk. He didn't mention that he'd stolen a car with a child inside. Now, Stone reached speeds of 100 miles an hour as he sped south, ramming into other cars and striking Trooper Bellaman. He, today, he told me he is at peace with what happened. Angels up there actually pulled me out of the way. Trooper Bellaman, he, says angels were watching over him that fateful day when Ryan Stone sped by and hit him while he was deploying stop sticks. My leg was actually shattered um, in about 20 something places. He's undergone multiple surgeries. He says the bones have been repaired, but the pain remains. <laughs> My lawyer told me I made the news in the UK and Australia. If you type in Grand Theft Auto on YouTube, my comes up first. That's convicted felon Ryan Stone during a jailhouse phone call a week after his arrest, bragging about his deed. Today in court, he had a different tone. What they didn't play is the ones that do show remorse. What they didn't play is the ones that, where you're sitting on the phone and you're crying. Stone apologized to Trooper He and to others, but he didn't accept responsibility for his actions. Instead, he blamed it on drugs and asked the judge for leniency. I pray you leave me time to start a family of my own with my beautiful wife. The DA said Stone didn't deserve leniency, that since 2003, there's not been a minute of his life where he wasn't on bond, in jail or prison, or on some type of probation. This guy is a menace, and he is gone from us now, and we are better for it. Stone had five previous felonies on his record before this chase took place. As for Trooper He, he says if his doctor and the state patrol allow him, he'll go back to work in December. He says that would be a nice Christmas present.